I applied for a clerkship at the International Court of Justice in about February, and I learned just a few weeks ago that I was accepted by the court uh, for what is an unfunded position, and I was granted a fellowship through the University of Virginia's Law School Foundation um, from Oric, Harrington, and Sudcliffe, and it funds my time at the court for nine months, um, which I will spend in The Hague working at the court as a clerk for at least one judge and possibly two. In the, my first two years of law school, I participated in the Jessup International Law Moot Court Competition, which is basically a simulated International Court of Justice experience. Um, parties go before the court and present disputes. Only states, only entire countries can be parties. And um, I did very well in the competition last year, my second year. I came in um, as the number five individual oralist in the world. Uh, and our team did very well as well. Our brief won third place prize, uh, and our scores, our overall scores were quite good. Um, not to boast on our team, but UVA law represented itself quite well. And that was what really got me interested in the International Court of Justice generally. Um, and so knowing no more than I knew from the competition, I applied to the court with you know, my international law experience and the competition in hand, and it was accepted. Sure. Um, the International Court of Justice is actually a part of the United Nations. It's its judicial body, generally defined. And it hears cases brought by members of the General Assembly, by UN members, or other countries that have joined the court's statute. Only entire countries, only states, can be parties before the court, like I said. So you'll often see cases with names like United Kingdom versus Albania or, or things like that. Um, it means that the number of cases they hear is, is relatively small, but the cases are always very interesting. Um, the court also gives advisory opinions, which means that in addition to giving judgments on contentious, I contentious issues, I'm sorry, um, it also offers advisory opinions on questions brought to the court by international organizations. So in the past, cases it's heard have included, for example, I mentioned the United Kingdom versus Albania. The United Kingdom brought a case against Albania for damage to British destroyers after the end of World War II caused by sea mines in a channel owned by Albania, Albanian national waters. And that case was resolved by the court, and the court set you know, standards for evidence on what needed to be proved in order to bring a case like that, for example. Um, as far as advisory opinions, the court has also considered cases like the legality of the um, Israeli wall or the Palestinian wall, depending on terminology. It's considered cases on the legality of the use of nuclear weapons um, and has given advisory opinions on those as well. I've talked with a few of the past clerks. UVA has actually been pretty well represented on the court as far as clerks are concerned and asked them a few questions about what it's like to work on the court. And the idea that I get and the impression that I get is that I'll go to the court, I'll work for at least one judge and maybe two, um, and the work I do will not be that dissimilar from the work domestic clerks do here in the United States. So writing memos on legal issues, presenting those issues to the judges, um, conducting a lot of legal research. The primary difference is that because, as I said, the number of cases is much smaller, the cases take much longer to consider. Um, a case might be considered for several weeks um, before the court can even begin to offer a decision. Some of them have stayed on at The Hague and have worked at other tribunals, such as the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia, um, places like that. Um, other, other former clerks to the court have taken on jobs in private, international, legal organizations. So the future is not set yet, but I know that I definitely want to make international law a part of it.